have you managed to speak to your uh, mother and uh, and where where is she right now is she fine and uh, there are reports going uh, doing the rounds that she is seeking asylum in uh, in uk if you can talk to us a little bit about that yeah she is uh, she is safe she is in india right now uh, she's staying there for a little bit uh, thanks to your government um, as to the asylum plans i uh, you know not has been finalized so uh, nothing has been decided yet on that so when did you last speak to her after she landed in india yes this morning uh, so i spoke to her uh, this morning and um, uh, she's you know she's in good spirits but she's very disappointed she's very very disappointed that she has worked so hard for this country and uh, uh, turned it around down from a failed state for poor country to a developed a middle income country absolutely and an asian tiger and uh, that this you know that the majority of the people we believe still support us and support her is this vocal minority and especially the uh, extreme uh, fundamentalists yeah. that how do you look at uh, her regime uh, in fact uh, you know bangladesh has made uh, enormous progress in last uh, last de- last two decade under uh, under her regime i think uh, this unfortunately shows the nature of our extremists and, and especially the opposition in bangladesh it's that uh, they are they're not really democratic at all they're they're just thugs and that's what their rule was like and now there's anarchy in bangladesh it's basically mob rule i mean to vandalize the murals of the father of the nation and freedom fighters these are the people who were opposed to the liberation of bangladesh to begin with they are pro pakistan they always have been they never wanted independence for bangladesh and now they're the ones uh, that uh, have seized the streets when did, when did you when the uh, when did the things go wrong uh, for prime minister hasina because till yesterday even sitting in india uh, uh, you know tracking the developments closely we never had thought of uh, this happening so soon uh, were you aware about this and were you speaking to your mother uh, regarding the ongoing situation uh, talk to us a little bit about that if possible No, I mean, I was following the situation. I was talking to her every day. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it happened. The situation uh, deteriorated rapidly. Uh, they were attacking police. They were attacking homes, ministers' homes. Uh, they escalated the violence. And uh, behind the students, it was our opposition, the BNP Jamaat, especially Jamaat, who were armed with uh, firearms and okay. they were attacking police stations with firearms and um so we deployed the army but uh, we did not wish for a massacre so we had instructed not to shoot directly at the protesters okay. and so once that happened uh, the the military shot in the air to try to disperse but when that didn't stop them at that point there wasn't a lot we could do Okay so do you think that there was a pressure on your mother uh, prime minister former prime minister hasina to step down uh, from army No no not at all there was no pressure from the army she, in fact she wanted to step down she chose to step down the day before she was going to announce it we wanted an orderly transition what we wanted was peace uh, So she decided uh, so she, she decided to step down last night Sorry? she decided to step down last night No, she had actually decided to step down the day before. Day before. Okay. Okay. Okay, that means on Sunday. Yes. Okay. And uh, the and it was announced today. Right. She was going to make an address and announce it, hmm. but because they were marching on the city, uh, the decision was made to try to keep the city safe first. Hmm. And when that failed, uh, then of course we ran out of time.